Hi everyone, I'm Jocelyn and I am grateful you're here. You're listening to the Starting with Gratitude podcast. This is a safe space intended to host meaningful conversations exploring all topics of the human experience. Every conversation starts with gratitude and remains rooted in gratitude. After you listen, make sure to join the community by subscribing and sharing. I am so happy you have joined us. Hello, Ashley. Hi. How are you doing this morning? Doing well. Yeah. Excited. Beautiful morning. It's nice weather here in Florida where I'm currently snowbirding. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a great morning. I'm excited for this. Yeah. You know, I've been, I was, I knew I'm prepping. I don't even know like if I'm mentally prepping or subconsciously, I don't know, <laughs> but I woke up and I'm like, yes. That's how yeah. we know it's going to be a really good conversation. Yes. And I am going to give you the space to share the gratitude that you expressed this morning with us. Yes, for sure. I wrote it down. So yeah, this morning, right after I woke up and I read for a little bit, but I'm grateful for waking up. One. <laughs> grateful for the love and support from my friends and family in this time in which I do my best to reciprocate. Mm. I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for my apartment in Brooklyn, even though I'm currently being a snowbird in Florida. I'm grateful for my parents' beautiful home here in Florida that I'm able to escape the snow right now. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'm grateful for the passion that lives in me to be able to do what I do. I'm grateful for the sun and warmth I can feel on my body today. I'm grateful for this cocoon phase, as I like to call it, that I'm in. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful to have the willingness to grow and become more in tune with myself, even if I'm getting a slow start. I'm grateful for this safe space that you have created, Jocelyn. Thank you. I am and. The last thing I wrote was that I'm grateful for the courage I have to come and be a guest today, as I hope it can aspire others who are on the beginning of their journey inwards as well. Mm -hmm. That's so beautiful. (laughs) Um, thank (laughs) Thank you so much for the compliment on this space and calling it a safe space. I really appreciate that. Um, And I am, I mean, we briefly, you and I had a conversation before having this conversation. And I know that you are going through a pivotal shift in your life Mm -hmm. um, that looks different than, you know, it may have that looks different than the pivots you may have had in the past. So I'm also very grateful for you being here and showing up and also being willing and able to share what we're going to talk about. Yes. So let's start with that. Let's start with like you describing what season of life you're currently in. Um, right now, I would say this season is this cocoon phase as like, that's what the more I've, I've spent time thinking about it. Um, and even just reading or maybe even podcasts or something that I'm listening to, like, I'm getting the gist of that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Um, which I'm really grateful for because I know a lot of people like want to rush. And so they say like so many people are waiting to be the butterfly, Mm -hmm. but not appreciating that cocoon phase. And it's funny too, because I I have a butterfly charm on my necklace and I wear a butterfly. I'm a Gemini. They say it's the butterfly of the Zodiac, but yeah, it's like 
this I'm, I'm in another cocoon phase which i feel this is not this is not my first one there there's been definitely moments in my life where i know like changes are happening and and it's and it's a time to evolve into what my next chapter is mm-hmm. um and and that is that's that's what i'm in right now i'm in this cocoon phase of evolving into this next chapter for one it's you know um everybody you know knows me and when it comes to like work of like from my start in in a blogging world and and working within hip hop and r and b um just with with artists even if I'm just connecting dots for them or something like it's you know it's i haven't it's like the the title I've given myself is like broad, so we just like okay consultant mm-hmm. but um I'm in a phase where, you know, this name, Ashley Outrageous, will will always be like, you know, the name that I'll have, but I have to now change the narrative of what it is that I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Um, and that has all come from even the more time that I've spent with myself and self-work and what I'm thinking about you know, what needs to happen next? What, you know, what changes can I make to make, you know, to really turn a new leaf? And it's, it's so funny because even just before we get on this, it's like people still submit me music and things, but um, that's not what I do anymore. And so Mm -hmm. I'm now in the phase of like, I have to control this narrative of, you know, what I'm doing now, which is managing artists yeah Uh, and i love it so that's where i'm like you know i gotta like i gotta change a company name i gotta do these things you know i gotta turn people the right way so they know like hello that those that was 10 years ago yeah Um, and it's even just growing up too you know i turned 30 last year um in june i now live alone for the first time which was another goal of mine so i'm like you know, so it's not even only about work, it's personal, like mm-hmm. living alone. I'm like, oh, my gosh. OK, living alone, like, you know, having that time of, of solitude, which, you know, now, like I said, now I'm here in Florida. So I'm, I'm at my parents' house. But, uh, you know, when I was back in New York and when I will go back in a couple of weeks, you know, it's enjoying my my time alone. Mm-hmm. And I'm actually, you know, really embracing it. And it's not. It's not a feeling of loneliness, which mm-hmm. is nice. Younger me, whew, 23 year old me, you know, I didn't even want to eat alone. <laughs> now I'm like, I, I, eat alone. I don't care. People watch like, you know, I'll do I'll do my time. I like quiet mornings. You know, I want to spend my time alone. So it's all these different things like personal and and work that I'm moving through, which is so, yeah, it comes back to like cocoon phase of yeah cooking it all up. <laughs> yeah. And as someone, you know, who is very social, who is like that butterfly personality, has it been hard for you? Um, you know, earlier you said that a lot of people do want to rush to that butterfly butterfly phase and like mm-hmm. just thrive and, you know, get past all of like this shadowness and the cocoonness. Right. Has it been hard for you to accept this phase in your life in the beginning? Or do you feel like you were able to recognize it and be like, okay, this is where I'm at. Like, I'm accepting it. I think because of where I'm at now, I, yeah, it was the latter. I accepted it and I embraced it rather than, you know, be fearful, which is something in the past fear has held me back. Um, and I think already learning those things from when in my early Mm twenties that now at the, you know, at the beginning of my 30, because I haven't even been 30 for a year yet. So I'm like, technically, you know, we're still (laughs) in that, in that last bit of the twenties. So, um, I was definitely able to embrace it and, and, and I'm really grateful for that too. I, I know that being able to do that, that was only then, like struck to me that like, okay, yeah, I've, I've grown, mm-hmm. I've matured. Um, Cause you know, I, I truly believe in like some things that are like, that are meant to change and stuff. Like we waste time being fearful or maybe overthinking and worrying about it when if we just embrace it 
and start to do the work and like accepting changes if they're you know good or bad you know because mm-hmm. i feel like you know with good is always it's going to come bad or with bad comes good vice versa mm-hmm. you know just i i like to like go with the flow with with these things now versus yeah old me i was doing every which way maybe to like throw a wall up and block <laughs> you know, I'm like nope nope this is not supposed to be so yeah yeah for me it's it's been embracing it for sure yeah the path of least resistance yes yeah what do you feel were like the early signs of this cocoon phase that you were entering where you started noticing like, okay, I am about to have a very transitional and transformational period where I have to kind of just turn inward? Um, definitely towards the end of 2020 um, in December. Mm-hmm. Um you know, which was so funny because I'm like, damn, like this, this is going to, this revelation, you know, is, is going to come at the end of, of this year of what the, you know, what is, what's been a roller coaster of a year. Yeah. But then I even had to stop myself there and be like, you know, well, I have to not say that because when my realization or my time was going to come, that was when it was going to come. So, and like I said, it's like, this is like, I've, I've gone through these before, but I haven't been in one maybe since I think I can remember maybe back to like 27 when I was like, I know I need to turn something else. So mm-hmm. yeah, just recently. And I don't, it was just like, it was, it was like a, a gut instinct came mm-hmm. over me um, that I needed to even like be, be more kind to myself and, and spend more time for myself because I could tell that I was becoming so strung on even just my work and what I do. Mm -hmm. And the the thought started to come to me often that I I don't want my work to make me who I am. Mm -hmm. And then I would think to myself, but if somebody asked me, who am I? Mm -hmm. What would I say? And I had been stuck on Mm. what would I say? Because... Mm -hmm. I'd been so used to, you know, going in this, in this phase of like, you know, if somebody asks me how I'm doing, I'm talking about my two clients that I manage and they're like, didn't ask you about them. Yeah. Um, or I just automatically go to talk about work. And while don't get me wrong, I, I love what I do. And I'm, you know, like I said, I'm grateful to be able to do what I do. I have a passion for it, mm-hmm. but I did find myself, at times just being consumed by it and not finding, not, not making the time for my me time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, even with the things are going so well with the two artists that I manage and I'm grateful for the both of them. And like, we're going to do great things. We already are doing great things. And before it gets even busier, I, that's why I'm like, Oh, I need to remind myself now while we're still in this phase that I need to, make that time for myself. I need to have these, you know, what I'm learning, healthy boundaries, even mm-hmm. with just, just anybody. Cause even not with my own, not with the the two clients that I have, it's just with other people, you know, I'm constantly being asked for things and I don't, and I, I love to help people. Like that's my thing. I love connecting the dots. I love to help people, mm-hmm. but I found myself, I'm always, I'm always saying yes. I'm always readily available. You know, somebody calls me, I'm picking up, um, mm-hmm. and I was becoming tired. I was becoming like really exhausted of being like so readily available at like anybody's beck and call, you know? Yeah. Um, and it's not that anybody did anything wrong. It's just, I'm, I was like, I was, I was exerting too much of my energy. I felt that, mm-hmm. um, and, you know, and it was one time when I was asked like, what's my hobby? I was like, um, <laughs> I don't know. I I love to get my nails done. That's my thing. My, you know, nail art and getting my nails done has been my thing for like the past five years. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, but is that a hobby? I'm like, you know, when I hobby, I'm like uh, rollerblading, bike riding, like something like that, you know? Yeah. These are all things that I'm like, I needed to realize. I'm like, what's like my thing? What am I doing for me? Right. Um, And I've had those little moments here and there. 
but it was only recently that I was like, oh no, especially now that I'm, you know, even in my career phase, I'm going into a career of being an artist manager, which is, you know, I'm also like, I'm, I'm, I know like, I don't, people have like different views on it, but it's like, it's like, I am, you know, holding somebody's hand and like helping them build a brand and like helping them Mm -hmm. get to the top and like, you know, helping them with their life. Mm -hmm. So, and I love it, but I'm just like, how I need to make sure that I'm still okay. And that my, you know, that my glass is full because if, how can I help them if, if I don't even feel good? Yeah. Yeah. That's actually something that I had thought of after our first conversation where you, where you told me um, some of this is that I think that it's really beautiful that this is happening to you now and yeah. you're learning to create the boundaries and you're kind of having these self-realizations before the momentum like really picks up with your artists and before you really turn that leaf of your management, yeah. you know. Um, yeah, because so I would love to have more. You know, I'm asked by people, well, oh, you're man- well, you manage me. And I'm like, no, no, you know, I'm not taking on anybody new right now because I'm like two is enough on my plate. And if I put one more on, I'm going to explode. Like, let me, you know, let me just, I'm good for now. But when I think, you know, I'm pretty sure like I, I would want to have more, mm-hmm. but I still am learning now with these two. And I know people you know, that have been in management and that have stopped managing because they didn't create these boundaries and things. So it's while, while I know it's, it's been a tough position for other people, I'm trying to, you know, take others lessons in now. Mm -hmm. I don't want to call them mistakes. We'll call them lessons, take others lessons into account now where I am still, I would say I'm still in this beginning phase of it. Yeah. Yeah. How would you answer the who are you question now? Uh, <laughs> I think I think I'm still I'm still working on it. Mm-hmm. But but you know it's like yeah like how do people usually answer these are they are they personality traits? You know it's like I'm still trying to understand when somebody asks, you know, who are you? Yeah. Um, what do you say? You know, it's like, I'm a, I'm a young female adult you know, <laughs> in her 30s. Um, I like to say, I think I'm funny. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm extroverted. Um, I love to, you know, when it's me and my, when it's with friends, it's usually like, I've always been since I was younger. People be like, Hey Ash, like, what are we doing? Um, you know, I like to host people to things. Mm -hmm. Um, I like to create experiences for people. Um, Mm -hmm. even if it's like, you know, every time I travel with friends, it's very like, we're making an itinerary, you know, I'm organized. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, like, that's what I'm like, is it personality? That's what I would say for now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is really interesting how, and I'm sure a lot of people who listen to this are also going to be like, huh, you know, like, how would I answer this question? I yeah. think so many people, um, especially, you know, in the society and the structure that we grew up in is like so much of our identity is revolved around work. What we do. Yeah. Exactly. And did you see the Pixar movie, Soul? I did. So when I started having these thoughts of, you know, I don't want my work to make me who I am. This was like end of November. Mind you, I've, I've had that thought even like before. Because mm-hmm. I even went through the phase somewhere in the 20s of, you know, the comparison phase. Mm-hmm. You know, why is that person getting this and not me? Like, I actually know more about xyz why are they getting it you know mm-hmm. is it because of the way they look and the and doing the uh, the whole the 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 comparison that, thing and yeah. shooting myself down and then you know oh because when 
you know, like I had that realization moment with that too, but yeah, this, like, I don't want to make me who I am. Then this movie comes out, Pixar soul movie. And I'm like, exactly. Because the message (laughs) that I got from that is, you know, like you can have a passion Mm -hmm. and you can make money from it, which is like, I'm so grateful when I tell you, I'm so grateful to be able to do what I do and to make money from it. And mind you, it's taken me a long time. Like it, it, it has not been overnight, you know, and I've had to ask for favors and get help when I needed it. But like to support myself the way that I do now, I'm very grateful that it's my passion. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the message was, yeah, you can have a passion, you can make money from it, Mm -hmm. but it's not all that you are. That's like the message that I took from it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, exactly. (laughs) yeah I did love all the different ways that it showed what life is about like I feel like it showed just many different aspects like the one part that stuck out for me is like when they the souls like switched and like yeah you know and they they she got in his body I'm trying not to use like the pronouns because the soul was gender neutral but Right. When they, she tries the pizza slice for the first time and it's just like, you know, like that experience yeah. in itself is like, that is life. That is living. And it's just something that's so simple. Yeah. And, and I feel like we do attach ourselves to these labels and these, all of these things that like make us kind of lose track of like, who, yeah, what who our true really essence are. is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if somebody asked you, who are you? What would you say? I'm like, I'm going to flip it back on you. <laughs> um, I would, what would I say? Who are you? Um, I would say that I am a storyteller but I don't know if that also ties in I feel like it does tie into work as well but like really I feel like you're you're going somewhere it's like more broad you know um I would say that I am right now in this moment the first things that come to my mind are I am a healing healer. I am a host. I am a best friend. I am an artist um, in many different ways. Um, I am vulnerable honest yeah then getting into like the character traits yeah Um, yeah yeah I feel like that's those are like the first things that I would say but that is that is a very simple yet very introspective question Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm like yeah I'm like I'm I'm still working on it the work never stops you know I've been at that point too where it's like I'll do some self-work and then it's like okay i'm good for now and then i just stop you know and that's the other realization that i've had recently too that i'm in this phase i'm like okay i've done this before and the reason why i'm now back feeling like this is because i stopped doing the work when the work should never stop that's Mm -hmm. what i'm i keep telling myself now so yeah and in this like stillness in this space that you're like holding for yourself is like the the best time for you to like really decide on what you really want to implement into your life exactly what are some of the things that like you really are aspiring to implement moving forward i i really want to try you know meditation i actually just bought a meditation trainer today like this um device um, because I am one of those people and I know that's why a lot of people, even though like, oh, I can't meditate. I'm one of those people because I have a million things in my mind and it's just, it's, it doesn't shut up. I'm less like, oh my God, when I try, 
but I want to keep, you know, I want to keep trying, but I know meditation also comes in other forms. Not like we, it's not just, we have to sit still. It can be me taking a bike ride or something, you know? So, mm -hmm. but I would like to implement meditation, be it if it's sitting still or like while I'm on a walk or something. And then also even more movement. I know that I, um, sit on the computer too much. Like, you know, I even, I recently got blue light glasses because I was getting like eye twitches and eye strain, mm -hmm. but I want to do more movement because my posture is terrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, and I know that's because I'm hunching over at the computer. Um, I want to even, I want to practice more gratitude, you know, bringing in this, this, this um practice of of practicing gratitude every morning i know from what i've looked into it can be life changing mm -hmm. and um i really want to try for less screen time on my phone um i find myself even when, like i'll watch tv and i'm super into a tv show or something but I can still check my phone and it's like I'm multitasking, mm -hmm. um, which I will say I'm a great multitasker. <laughs> but um, even like, why am I checking my email at 10 p.m.? Mm -hmm. um, I, I need to build these boundaries for myself. And maybe I have to, you know, I have yet to do, you know, what Apple does where like they don't let you open the app. It like says you've reached your max for the day. Mm -hmm. I haven't put any of those on, but maybe I need to, but it's... Yeah, I have to build my boundary for me and uh, my email. I basically live in there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I need to I need to down on the screen time, even if it's even if that means like then not watching TV shows, you know, I'm although love TV. I love <laughs> I'm one of those people, you know, I've actually I will say I've, I've always struggled to keep my attention for books it's like I can read a few pages and then I'm like mm -hmm. my, my, my attention goes somewhere else I'm a visual per I'm like oh it's a book did they make a movie on the book okay I'll watch the movie mm -hmm. that's like a visual person yeah um, you know that's even a hobby up, yeah growing up I didn't grow up uh religious we went to the movies every Sunday mm. so I'm I'm a very visual person but I still yeah like definitely bringing down my screen time is a big one right now yeah I actually had this I don't know if realization is a word because I knew this already but it really revisited me yesterday where I was like I think I was like watching a video and I was taking notes and I also had my phone and I was like cooking something <laughs> Yeah, and I stopped and I was like, Joss, like you're you're not allowing yourself to really fully experience any of these things or relax because you're doing too many things at once. And right now should be like your downtime and you it's more productive when you're doing like focused on one thing. Exactly. It's like we have to remind ourselves uh, we're not an octopus. Yeah. Don't have, <laughs> you know, no. <laughs> yeah. So that's something I want to work on as well as like, if I'm watching a movie, I want to be completely in the movie. I'm putting my phone somewhere else. Like, yeah. Like yeah. even if sometimes I'll find myself like I'm watching a movie with a friend and maybe I'm so into it. Like I'm, I'm like, I'm not picking up my phone, but if they're picking up their phone, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, seriously? <laughs> And then, you know, and then you're going to miss a part. And then you're going to ask me, wait, what'd they just say? If you weren't looking at your phone. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the exact you know? same. I'm the same. That's so funny. Um, yeah. So we have to be like that with ourselves. Yeah. Um, I'm interested to know how going through this, transformational phase your cocoon phase has been with you being at home with your parents um it's been interesting because you know on on one hand 
I am eager to get back to like like my own space. Mm-hmm. It's the first time, you know, that I have got myself to a place where I live on my own. And that was a goal of mine. Like when I was 28, I was like, oh, by the time I'm 30, I'm going to have my own space. And I did that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that just happened at the start of 2020. And it all happened like with COVID. Mm-hmm. Um, so I had even, yeah, I, I came to Florida back in March 2020, like right when it started, thinking I was going to stay for two weeks, stayed till July. And then I went back uh, to New York, July to December. Mm-hmm. And then now I've been here since December for the holidays. But um, yeah, like on, on one hand, I want to get back to my own space because I want to I want to finish decorating my apartment. And like mm-hmm. now it's like currently like last week and then going into today, I have the bug right now. We're like, okay, I want to finish decorating and making it my own space. You know, even like my office space because I don't have that here. Mm-hmm. But but I am but I am here and I stayed longer because one of my other clients is here the who is an artist and I've been developing her for three years now and we're just now gearing up to release her first single in April. Mm -hmm. Um, So that's why I've been here again because I'm working very closely on getting her ready for that. But I'm also grateful now to have this time um, with my parents at the same time um, and like deepening our relationship um, and talking more about things when we can um, because here, you know, it's like, you know, everybody, you know, still working, even me, you know, like I'm still working, but, mm-hmm. um, it, it has been a little tough because, you know, I don't live here anymore. I know that I'm just here for a time being. So it's still like, you know, I don't have all my things here. Um, I know like it's, it's not my place, you know, now, like I'm in my parents' place, you know, so there's you know there's boundaries with thing and of course there's respect i respect their home as you know it's as if it's it is mine you know it's my family <laughs> home, but it's also like it's not like my own space is what right, i'm saying yeah like, you know i'm an adult i have my own apartment i don't live here there's you know there's still a respect that i need to show um but yeah but but it has been a bit tough because it's not my own space anymore like you know even the room that i'm in like this was the room that I grew up in and it's different now from when I grew up, but it's, it's not with all like my things that I have in my space in New York, but, um, but I am doing, doing my best to, uh, you know, do what I can for right yeah. now and uh, daily practices. Even right now it's mostly just like journaling and getting some movement, but mm-hmm. You know, I know when I am I I am looking forward to getting back to my own space and continuing to make my my it my space because it makes me feel um good that like wow like this is my you know it's like when people are like you know when you just clean mm-hmm. and then you just look back at your apartment <laughs> and you're like this looks good you know this is this is my space it's like you clean your room and then you close the door and then like you creep back in you ever <laughs> seen those memes it's like you know like yeah. I miss that you know yeah yeah. Yeah. Um, I know for me, it's when I'm home, especially this time, this past time that I went for the holidays, it just, since I was also going through like a very transformative period, it was really interesting for me to go through that while being around family. Yes. And also (laughs) like, noticing that I I could be more vulnerable around my family, but I can't be my most vulnerable self. I agree. I've 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 experienced that. Yeah. I can, I can see myself still holding like I'm letting it down a little bit, but I'm still like <gasps> but yeah. not everything, you know, <laughs> like the 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 little guards here and there. And you know, and and I am like you know, then it, it goes back to even boundaries too, like having to build boundaries because boundaries are not only for work, you know, it's for friends, mm-hmm. it's for family, you know, mm-hmm. and like, you know, and learning how like maybe if something is said to me being like, hey, like, 
can you actually not speak to me that way you know mm -hmm. rather than old me was very reactive you know i'm right. ready to put up a fight and defend myself when that gets us nowhere yeah <laughs> i can relate to that yeah yeah um i feel like so many givers last year like really experienced this like sudden like oh my goodness i am depleted i need to put up i need like where how did i allow myself to get here i need to set these boundaries what do these boundaries look like and then mm -hmm. there's also like energetic boundaries like yeah. all of that so i'm yeah. i'm excited to see how when you do return back to your own space and you're alone yep like how this transformation will continue to conspire Oh, I'm super excited. I think I think it's going to be beautiful. I think it's going to be great. And and I'll be and I'll really be able to feel it too cuz I do like feel like even like just like believe in like the energy like in your home, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and I want people to when they walk into my home they'll be like, "Oh, wow, like this feels nice and this feels cozy and I like it here." Mm -hmm. um, you know, yeah, I'm I'm really I'm really excited excited for that and to uh even to to add like art and things that speak to me and that and that show my personality. You know, it's it's something that uh, I haven't done before in my space. It's like I just have kind of like things, but mm -hmm. like I feel like if you know, it it also came to a point, and this was just th this um past year too in twenty twenty that I was like. Somebody walked in here, like, would they be able to tell, like, this is my place? Like, does my personality show in here? And that's when I'm like, what is my personality? <laughs> you know, it's like even more than I'm like, I'm going like so far down the <laughs> rabbit hole with it. And I'm like, okay, I need to redo this whole apartment. And it's taking me time too, to be yeah. honest. Like, it hasn't been you know the easiest thing it's been months now that like i'm getting things like one by one mm -hmm. you know because yeah. i want to be intentional too i want to you know like this is why i'm doing you know this is me and i don't want to just buy to just redo my apartment and then a month later i'm like i actually hate that yeah yeah i feel like that's a really yeah intentional way to create your space is to like do it slowly and i feel like that definitely comes with like living alone for the first time it's like yeah because you've been like blending you know yeah, when your... you have a roommate it's both of you it's what you both like now it's like oh it's just me <laughs> oh it's just what i like oh okay yeah and it's fun too it's fun it's it's it definitely is overwhelming Whew overwhelming indeed but like now like this past week and like over the weekend and yesterday and even today it's like i have this bug right now of like i'm inspired so i'm like taking advantage of it and i'm like making little mood boards and i'm sending it to my friend who her you know she does interior design so she's been helping me too of like sizing and all these things and what will go here and what will go there but um it's fun so yeah, that's why I'm really like, I'm like, I'm excited to get back um, to my own space. Although, you know, it's like sun versus snow. <laughs> yeah. Um, being snowbird right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you feel, um, what do you feel is the root or pa part of the root of you being a really hard worker who's like really focused on work and has been like engulfed by work like where do you feel like that comes from oh it's gotta come from my parents even like yeah my dad my dad's in, you know an entrepreneur owns his own company um went to school for what he needed to know and then was like cool and, and built a very successful company and it's like same here like i didn't finish college i went to school for you know graduate high school then i went to college for graphic design i learned what i needed to know and then i was like cool and then i figured it out you know <laughs> yeah. um but even with that you know like my dad 
he, um, it'll be funny if he listens to this, but I have these conversations with him or like uh, just a few times of, of, you know, like at his age, I'm like, you still like, you just work Monday through Saturday. And like, you're the boss. It's your company. Like, you don't want to just like, I don't know, go golfing. Mm-hmm. to be like, no, it's like, he, he likes to work. He likes to be busy which I find interesting because like, yeah, I like to work too. And I like to be busy, but I do like my downtime. And I feel like, yeah, like, I mean, not, I feel, but like my dad, like his downtime is just Sunday. Other than mm-hmm. that, it's work, work, work. And he doesn't wakes up at five every day, makes a smoothie, <laughs> goes to work, you know, then has dinner around seven, you know, watches the news, whatever, some TV shows and does it all over again, Monday through Saturday. Mm-hmm. Like, and you're a <laughs> dude, I'm trying to be like retired by then, or I'm trying to be like hanging out by then. But it's like, he, he likes to work. He, he says like, he doesn't want to just sit around all like people that retire and they just sit around and maybe they go to the beach. Like, cause that's what people do in Florida when they retire, you know, it's right. like, the beach you maybe play golf he's like i don't want to do that mm-hmm. he likes to work so i'm like okay these are the generational you know gaps you know that i'm like mm, by your age dude i'm trying to be chilling i'm trying <laughs> to be at the beach yeah on a yeah in the middle of the day <laughs> so it definitely does come from your family yeah yeah so you like grew up seeing like very hardworking yeah. people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Do you feel do you feel like you've had some revelations in like managing other people and relating that back to managing yourself? Like what correlations have you seen between those two things of like how you manage other yeah. artists, you know? Yeah, definitely. Um, so Deanna Koval, who's the visual artist that I manage, you know, she was the first one that I started with, like when like really taking it seriously and professionally. Because when I was younger, you know, yeah, I managed some friends here and there, but I didn't know what the heck I was doing, you know? Yeah. But yeah, so with Deanna, it's, um, it was really, I think it was managing her and like me make always making sure like, okay, I see you're see we're getting crazy though. We have a lot of client projects on hand. You know, I want you to take a break. I don't want you to go through a burnout. Cause like I've also, you know, been with her as she's experienced a burnout. So mm. I've seen it firsthand. So now I like, you know, then I started to make sure that like, you know, but are you resting? It's, she laughs at me. It's like a, a mom. I'll be like, did you eat? We'll send her a message, you know? And it was realizing all that care for her that I'm like, oh, I need to do this for me too. <laughs> like you know I don't there's not somebody managing me you know mm-hmm. like I'm a single girl you know it's not like there's not a boyfriend or somebody you know else there you know I gotta remember that for myself so um yeah definitely have have had those moments um and I'm grateful to have been aware of them because I know some people would probably just keep going um but I definitely had to be like whoa what about if asking her, did, did you eat? Did I eat? Because I'll have those times too. Where I'm just working all day. And it's like I had breakfast, maybe 9, 30, 10. And then yeah. I'm like, oh, it's four o'clock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I figured that you would, there was like a mirror reflection type of experience there. And like, you just manage like you managing someone and then realizing, oh, I need to care for myself in this way too. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. For sure. Absolutely. Yeah. So how what does that look like now? How are you how are you taking care of yourself now, but moving forward too when when you're becoming more busy and when you're taking on more artists, like what, what do you ideally see yourself doing to like, make sure you're not? I think I really, especially with like how I already see my days going is that I really need to utilize the morning. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
because by the afternoon, even going into late afternoon to early evening is usually busy, especially sometimes if we're working with clients on the West Coast, you know, um, I need to really take advantage of the morning. I, I'm one, I'm not a morning person. I will say like, I, I would love to be, I wish I was, mm. but I'm one of those people. I don't really like to talk much in the morning. I like prefer a silent morning. Mm. Um, like before 9, 30, 10, mm-hmm. you know, like that's like when like, I think, you know, I, I can get into it. But before that, I'm like, and you know, and then I, I, I that's where I really want to implement life. It's like stretching, meditation. Really the stretching is important because of being on the computer for a long time and like the back. So yeah. stretching, meditation or just just even if it's just taking my time to make sure that I eat have my coffee maybe read or listen to a podcast but really not do any work before like 9 30 10 is like my start time yeah Um, because then like I said it's like past that it gets crazy and it, it'll be tough to do the me time and the, like sometimes I do like to do yoga at the end of the day you know mm-hmm. I can wrap up my day by you know standard like five five thirty um but yeah I think that the best thing is going to be taking advantage of the morning which also means you know maybe it's even waking up even earlier to have an, an extra hour you know mm-hmm. yeah but I need to build that routine and that's where I struggle too. And I know a lot of people do building that routine is tough. Even just same thing with working out, you know, and people are like, mm-hmm. well, if you do it 21 days, I'm like, okay, <laughs> I make it to like three and then I mess up. <laughs> yeah. That's why like, I feel like everything that we've discussed here and like all the new implementations that you're having in your life, the realizations, the changes, the shifts, personal, professional, like you really have to journey with grace and like not pressure yourself to like get things done or to like hurry this up or like, I need to get it all right now. You know, like it does take time, even just focusing like, okay, I want to, implement more meditation in my life like doing that every single day until it really feels like it comes naturally to you like that detail in itself takes work like that in itself is like a process right and then you add in all the other things and it can be overwhelming yeah for sure yeah I'm 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 definitely practicing patience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to ask you two last questions um, to bring this full circle. And the first question is, we're, it's a year from now. And people ask you, like, what was... Like, what did you learn in this season of your life in this like spiritual awakening that you have? Like, what did you take from it? Like, how did it change your life? What would you say about this time? Looking the back. The first thing that's already coming to my mind is, is, is like for one, having the, the awareness of realizing, okay, something is, you know, something's off here, maybe, you know, and it's, I need to take care of myself more. So being aware, then having the willingness to change, um, to to make the time to do the work. Mm-hmm. Even like I like I um, said in the beginning when I was saying what I was grateful for that even if it is a slow start, mm-hmm. um, and hmm. What else would I say? Yeah, the willingness to to change the time, and just and 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 it goes back to like patient, knowing it. It's not it's not something that's going to change in a day or a week, but that that I had the patience, and and then also 
continuing to do the work even when it is uncomfortable too, even when it is hard, mm-hmm. you know, because there's been times I find my, I find myself from, you know, like so it's hard today and, you know, maybe I don't want to, I don't want to go for a walk or something, but I'm like, you know what, let me just do it. And those times that I've had, I did feel better after because I, and not to say it's like not pushing myself, but, but at least trying to, and then knowing, yeah, like above all that I'm trying. Mm-hmm. So, and yeah. I, and I, hope that, you know, yeah. in a year from now, it's like, oh yeah, we've got this, we've got a routine. We are healthy. You know, uh, that, that's what I, I definitely hope for in a year from now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad that you emphasize like the willingness because that in itself is huge and essential. Like you, you can't, you can't do this. You can't do the work or experience the transformation that you seek if you're not willing to put yourself in that space and confront yourself and do what it is that you need to do. And that's why I always tell people like, be proud of just like the willingness, just the effort, yep. because you're trying. Exactly. Yeah. And you slightly answered this right now, but Ashley is past the cocoon phase. And now mm-hmm. she's like blooming and back into the butterfly. Like, what does that look like? Yeah, that looks like I definitely like I have my routine and and I would like to be I would like to like stand firm in that. Um, and and also, you know, I've, I've dealt with like like not feel bad about it. You mm-hmm. know, like people know like it's, it's you know, it's not a you it's a me thing. But like, you know, this is just my me time. And I, you know, I'll, I'll get back to you when I'm done. Or if it's, hey, it's at this time, I will get back to you first thing tomorrow. Like setting those boundaries with people um, and, and really being, then being proud of myself in that and continuing to, to, to practice gratitude as well. And, and also still being like, when I'm receiving the support, also being able to, to like, fully give my support um, Mm -hmm. to others, Um, my, my close friends and my loved ones, you know, my family, or, or if it's my clients, but being able to fully reciprocate that, that support back. And um, I mean, and then by who knows, maybe I have a news person, even if it, when it comes to work, new, somebody new on the roster, but I don't know. It's, you know, for now, like I, I am, I'm, I'm so happy and I'm, and I'm fulfilled with what I have right now. You know, mm-hmm. I don't, I'm good. You know, I, I, that's another thing too. I know we should always be grateful for what we have now, not what we want, you know? Yeah. yeah there's things that all of us want, but I am very grateful for what I have right now. Yeah, that's beautiful. And I love that your answer in itself is very telling of where you are. Because most most of the things that you answered weren't work-related. Thank God, I was hoping. (laughs) (laughs) They were all like focused on wellness. Yeah, um, which is where your mind is at. Where yeah, your focus it's a, is at. It's a, it's a focus right now, and it, it it's a a priority for sure. Yeah, I know. Like I need it. My soul needs it. And like I said, it's like even like because I, you know, I definitely am on this on this journey now. I feel like you know, just in the in the start of it. So I really do hope that this aspires you know other people that they're that they're like oh yeah you know it's like it's never it's never too late to start and if you and if you started before like how I did and then you kind of fell off you know you can just pick up again it's like riding a bike Mm -hmm. you know yeah it's gonna look it's gonna show up and it's going to look different in every season of our lives for for sure yeah um well thank you so much Ashley for sharing your 
perspective and experience while you're currently in the space of transformation. Because I feel like a lot of the people that I've talked to were like kind of already, already out of it. Yeah, already yes. out of it. And yes. it's important to hear the perspective of someone who is like still in it, still like trying to find that balance, still like, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, maybe feeling like overwhelmed at times because of like yep. all this like newfound awareness that is right. coming in. And even as you know, it's like when you reached out, I was like, oh, but am I a good fit? Because I knew I was like, but I'm not, I'm not out of it yet. You know, I can't, but, but yeah, it was the more I thought about it too. I was like, yeah, you know, maybe somebody, maybe it is wise for, for somebody to hear the perspective of somebody that's like still trying to find that work life balance and, and trying to, you know, look more inwards and become more in tune with themselves, you know? Mm -hmm. So Yeah. I feel I feel good about this and and thank you so much for holding this space. Yeah. I really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you.